I am Maria Garcia de Florin. We often hear people complain, I don't have time for anything. Others say, if I have anything left over, it's time. Although it is even more common to hear people protesting about how others manage their time. He never has time for me. If he doesn't make time for me, it's because he doesn't love me. Sometimes we talk about other people's time as if it belonged to us. We use our own perspective and judgment to estimate how much time belongs to us. Just as each person needs their own time, there are temporary spaces that need their own people. Being six years old is not the same as being 60, just as it is very different to be in a calm period of your life than in a turbulent one. Each age and condition needs some people or others by our side. It is better to be grateful and joy the time life offers you than to regret and reproach yourself for the time life did not give you. Time has meaning. It is what makes our lives limited and our actions have meaning. Such as a person is valuable, time is also valuable. If you respect and value it, you will be on the right track to live it to the fullest. And what is certain is that time does not return. The church marks time with the liturgical year, and the last Sunday of the church year, we celebrate the Feast of Christ the King. It is the day on which we are invited to commemorate His sovereignty over all men, women, and children. Jesus Christ has come. Jesus Christ is coming. Jesus Christ will come again. Jesus Christ is Lord of all. As soon as we have celebrated the last Sunday of the year, the fifth feast of Christ the King, we will celebrate the first Sunday of Advent and begin the time of preparation for the great feast of the Nativity of our Savior. Our Catholic liturgical year follows a rhythmic cycle that points toward the beginning and the end. In doing so, the Church emphasizes important truth that can only be grasped through faith. The Feast of Christ the King is the last Sunday of the Church year and our Catholic faith and its liturgical practices proclaim to a world hungry for meaning that Jesus Christ is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. By looking at time with the lens of faith, we discover that we live a pilgrimage towards life, truth. God invites from now on to participate in his loving plan through his son Jesus to recreate the entire cosmos. Time becomes the path along which this loving plan of the redemption advances. Those baptized in Jesus Christ continue his redemptive mission until he returns to establish his kingdom. We do this by living in his body, the church, and drawing the entire world, world into the new world. The church, in one of its favorite descriptions of the early fathers, calls that new world. On the feast of Christ the King, we celebrate the full and final triumph and return of the one through whom the entire universe was created and in whom it is beginning and being recreated and by whom it will be completely reconstituted and returned to the Father at the end of all times, because the Father is God and with God we always win.